Sorry, baby. Sorry, but. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the tie between my fingers. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, sweetheart. Come, come with me as we go remove my daughter's tongue tie. So, apparently, this baby has been, she's had this tongue tie for a long time and... Uh, of course, since she was born. <laughs> but I've been telling my doctors that this girl's tongue tie. But nobody agreed with me until she was this old. <laughs> but um, this midwife can only remove till 11 months old. And we are below 11 months, so we had to go. But the truth is, it's actually more painful as they grow older. So a lot of people ask me, how do you find that your daughter has um, tongue tie? Because... You know, in the UK, when you give birth, the health visitor will come to your house, check the baby. The midwife will come to your house and check the baby. All these people checked my baby. I missed the fact she had a tongue tie. And when I personally went to my doctor to tell my doctor that my baby has tongue tie, they said, and she's feeling well, and it's not really a concern. How can you say it's not a concern? My nipple is paining me for Christ's sake. Because apparently, tongue tie affects... The mother's nipple like your nipple will be sore your nipple they won't be feeding well and it's affecting my baby as well for christ's sake my baby is always bloated she had colic so imagine colic with bloating oh she doesn't even sleep like it means i don't sleep and that is one of the reasons i was so stressed during this omega period because um she was always swallowing air she swallowed air, air. oh my goodness she swallowed a lot of air and uh, that's it affected her stomach the more if at some point i had to stop taking milk i had to stop taking some things just so we can know the cause i mean the cause but eventually i found out that it could be from her tongue since she can't latch well with a tongue looking like that so on this faithful day we went to call this tongue and uh, before we got there i gave her ibuprofen and after taking ibuprofen the next thing we did was um, the nurse to have a look and check the tongue. After checking the tongue, uh, she was wrapped with a blanket. <laughs> so, um, my phone, my other was on my phone, and I didn't video everything <laughs> because I was I can't be videoing my baby. I can't be, you know, capturing her crying and you know. Mm. Even though I did it earlier, but the process, the cutting, the thing, I couldn't look at it. So that's why I didn't video it. <laughs> so anyway, after the cutting, all they had to do was to use the scissors to go under the tongue and cut it. After cutting it, I was asked to breastfeed her immediately because she was bleeding. So the trick is for her to swallow the blood and also suck the while. Um, she said that the breast milk has... Um, pain relief and she also had pain relief before the procedure so what we did was uh, i gave her the rest she saw her first clean she went home and after six hours i gave her another pain relief and she was fine to be honest this is how it looks like after cutting it like when you cut the tongue tie this is how it's going to look like the emotion uh, first is going to be bloody second is going to be pale yellow until it heals. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.